Good morning. It is still morning and I'm starting off this vlog a little bit late because this morning has been really crazy. <laughs> But I had a great weekend in San Diego. I got to meet Ariel's newborn baby girl and she was such an angel. So much that a part of me was like, maybe I can be a mom. <laughs> but then reality hit back and I was like, nah, I think I'm, I'm good trying to keep my one plant alive right now. All right, I know all of y'all are following the Crispy Chicken Instagram page, but we're actually working on a little rebrand of the company and all of our assets. So we made a new brand deck. We have a new website look coming out. So check back in in a couple of months and hopefully everything is rolling out. All right, I'm gonna end this stay strong and I'm gonna try to do a 5K right now. <laughs> I have less than two weeks for the first 5K that's coming up in September. Now I gotta put some miles under my feet. Let's see how I look after 5K. This is me after 5K. My face is so red. I felt really strong on that first mile and then just downhill. But I only ate popcorn and half of a cookie as a uh, pre-run fuel. So I probably should have done a little bit better there. <sighs> Good morning. I literally just rolled out of bed, so <laughs> looking good. Um, one of our clients have a trailer that's being launched. And this is what kind of sucks about working on the West Coast when there's like press releases, trailer launches that happen. Obviously it's a very early wake up call. Now I got a debate if I should just stay awake or go back to sleep. I feel like, I feel like I'm already awake now, so. <laughs> I don't think this is working. Do, oh, you need a, do you need a stool or like a... Huh? <laughs> well, we've been in this office for the last four years, which is crazy to think. We were the very first tenant. Are you sad about me or you're like, whatever? I'm sad. We came towards the end of 2019, <laughs> but to go from zero employees to now, you know, 13, 15 of us, I guess, total. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of journey of a business. Yeah, it's pretty, it's, it's pretty big. And when I mean, we went through the pandemic, they wouldn't let us get out of the lease, which is also partially why we're still here. <laughs> but, you know, we got through it. We survived. It's like part of us. It's kind of like when you like switch cars, like all the memories that it spans the lifetime of yeah. like, however long you had your car. So yeah, it is sad. Shit, now I'm sad. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> going through all of our old stuff and yeah well first off here's our first holiday card ever i think wow look at us look at what that babies what babies second here's a baseball card that i autographed it says i farted it's a legit tops card how we started a business i don't know <laughs> oh hey happy hump day I am so hungry right now, and I thought today might be a good day to try every table. One of my dozens of viewers on this vlog, Reggie, messaged me on Monday saying he watched my vlog last week and was like, you gotta try every table. But yeah, apparently it's cheap and very convenient, so let's check it out. Honestly, I drive by here all the time and I've never seen this. <laughs> all right, I just got back and I got the adobo, or sorry, it's called homegirl salmon adobo. Every table, their mission is to make nutritious food accessible to everyone. So this ended up being like under $9, but it also comes with like warming instructions here. So I'm gonna just do it right now. Let me just chop up the salmon real quick. I feel like this is gonna be like burning hot. Oh, that's hot. I mean, flavor-wise, solid. Definitely love that you can get something healthy for cheap. So see if they're in your area. There's a lot in LA. Definitely gonna try some of the other options too. Happy Thursday. I am back at the office one last time this week to clean out some of the final stuff and return the keys and all that sad stuff. 
before I leave, I have a couple more meetings. So gonna take it here and then wrap it up. Okay, so I posted about leaving the office on my Instagram story and I got a lot of people responding. I'm realizing I should probably set up more context again in this video. We decided to give up the office because it is one of our largest overhead expenses as a company outside of like salaries and the employees. It just doesn't make sense to keep paying for it if we're not utilizing it. Who knows? Maybe in the future, we'll have our own crispy chicken HQ. But for now, that's that. Happy Friday, y'all. We freaking made it. <laughs> it's been a long week and I am getting my steps in right now so that I can just be a potato for the rest of today and this weekend. But hey, if you made it this far, give me the little like, give me a comment. And I hope you have a beautiful long weekend. Until next week.